I'm here at the St. George's Park in Port Elizabeth and I'm standing in floodlights. These are special floodlights, these are LED lights. It has become one of the three stadiums in the country to have uh, LED lights. Uh, these lights can do a lot of things. This was one of three stadiums that got LED lights, um, but these are by far the best. They, in the middle of the pitch, it's about 4,000 lux. Um, and the, like I said, I can't tell you all the exact details because I'm not 100% uh, with the with the lighting system here. But these lights can dance, they can switch on, switch off. You can have one spotlight, you can turn them all on and off. Um, during our uh, Ram Slam domestic T20 competition, we actually trialed the lights for, um, for, for a six. So if a six was hit, um, each of the pylons, they switched lights off that made a six. Um, and then also for outs and not outs, they would dim the lights just slightly. Um, and they would uh, also play that like, heart beating music that do 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 until the decision review was made. Uh, Port Elizabeth, uh, the St. George's Park is one of the most historically, it is uh, the most significant ground for South Africa. Um, Port Elizabeth hosted the first, uh, St. George's Park hosted the first ever test match of South Africa back in 1889. It also hosted the first ever rugby test back in 1891. Um, there's been a lot of criticism that it has not been built state of the art. There are no more. There, it doesn't have that corporate outlook. Uh, it has still got that old colonial out, uh, look to it. But um, when, whenever they got funds, they used to improve certain other things like the lights over here. So they have uh, invested a lot on these floodlights. This is Khurram Hapi for the Hindustan Times at St. George's Park in Port Elizabeth.